Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another beautiful day here on the island of Larkshire. <laughs> hey, check it out. We live on the beach now. We had to move our house out of Acre 6 because it, it, wasn't, it wasn't in the plans for our 20-acre project. Good morning, everyone. How are you? KT, welcome. Damo, welcome. Hello. So yeah, here we are on the beach. I put us down in this little corner because there was plenty of room. Um, <laughs> and so now we have free space in Acre 6. So we can get working on it, but first things first, it's early and we need some coffee. Good morning, Reb. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning, Pandorica. Hello, everybody. We need coffee. <laughs> it's early here. The sun's just coming up. Blathers is already asleep. How's everybody doing this morning? Thank you. Happy Tuesday to you, too. Well, it's not morning for some of you, I guess. <laughs> Had I known you were coming, I would have waited to start my coffee. Oh, that's sweet. Wait, is that is that Sable? Wait, I didn't look when we talked. Oh, it's Mabel, okay. What nice weather this morning. Days like this make it easier to greet customers with a smile. It is nice. Cherry blossom season, nice. 9 p.m. there, oh yeah. So, to a total opposite. <laughs> Uh, yes, we will take a cup of coffee for sure. Getting ready for the work day. Always good. 7 a.m. Yep, that's that's what it is here too. Oh, we get pigeon milk today. Yes, please. A little tight. Reb, yes, you would be. <laughs> we were up, or you guys were up late. We were playing some New Leaf mini games last night before the shutdown, which didn't happen when it was supposed to. Uh, I was actually... I was actually uh, going to dream addresses up until about 11.30 here before the service went out. Yeah, you're in the future, Damo, that's true. <laughs> Let's see here, I think I have some commands. You guys get to hear my clicky keyboard. Whew, we'll have to put in a lot of them already. <laughs> One fresh brewed piping hot cup of coffee. I have one in real life too, so yay. I'm using my Tuesday morning mug, which has a red handle and three little cats on it, and it says possum. Yeah, I, I was surprised that it went as long as it did. I kept expecting it to boot me any second, any second. And it didn't, <laughs> just kept on going. All right, we've got our coffee for the day. Um, let's get Stacy's in here. Oh, 6 a.m. You're even earlier. Wow, you're up early. Got, to be honest, I'm usually still asleep at this point in the morning. <laughs> I, um, I am not a morning person, but there was a lot going on yesterday. We just didn't get time. Is this Timmy or Tommy? Didn't get time to record, so here we are. Good morning, Carolee. You're up early. You are correct, Timmy. My brother and I both like our coffee the same way, which makes ordering ahead really easy. Oh, you can order ahead. Uh, we weren't given that as an option. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, you guys. You always share mine, too, so I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad I actually remembered today, because usually I don't. <laughs> All right. Okay, Timmy said he was picking up coffee for two, but I only see one cup in his hand there. All right, see you later, Mabel. Her shop won't be open yet. None of the shops will be open yet. Okay, let's see here. Bye, Blathers. 
probably just gonna start out doing some dailies, running around collecting our seashells, collecting our money trees. I think there's three or four money trees grown up. I haven't been in the game too much. Over the last few days with all the new leaf stuff, I've been trying to fit in everything I can with that before it goes away. Oh well, before it went away, I should say, because it's gone now. Whoops. Oh no. <laughs> well, that's not gonna work. Our pockets are full already. What do we have in here? Cans, some stuff we bought at Nook's yesterday. Oh boy. A bunch of stuff. Ooh, there's a- the fishing tourney is coming up on Saturday. Oh, there's the bottle on the beach. Alright, we gotta put some of this stuff in storage. Which means I have to run way over here. Oh wait, our house? Well, I'm just gonna run to the storage shed because when you do it inside the house you have to do it one thing at a time. It's probably take the same amount of time just to run across the island and put it in the storage shed. And then we get to see the pretty islands with all the pink trees. Storage shed is way over here in acre six now. Which all we have to put in here is a bridge and we're gonna have to terraform one little square, I think, in order to get it in here. Hello, good morning, Amanda Rose. How are you today? Well, we need to put some stuff away. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, small cafe table. That was at, oh, Red's Boat. That's what it was. I got that from Red's Boat for, for smacks. We'll put that away, put that away. Oh, we got a proper painting too. Right, Red's Boat was here, so I got a painting too. <laughs> Hello. Um, one of the villagers gave us those. I'm just gonna throw them in the storage. Okay, we need to be check catching cherry blossoms today too because I have got not very many and I have got one recipe, I think. Which is not okay because isn't t tomorrow like the last day of cherry blossom season? It is. It's one of the best times in the game. Definitely prettiest. I might have to. I might have to time travel back a couple days <laughs> if I don't get the recipes today. Oh, thank you, Pandorica. I'm definitely trying. It feels like it's moving so slow. Like we're our progress is super slow, but. Slow progress is still progress, so we'll take it. Oh, Amanda Rose, I'm sorry you're not feeling good. I'm doing okay. Just just up earlier than normal is, is all that's over here. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, we got a fossil. We're gonna have to run this painting to the museum. Which actually, don't we have another painting sitting outside the museum that's waiting to be donated to? Maybe a bug too. I think we caught like a common blue bottle the other day and it said it was said it was new. So we're gonna try to get that donated today. Let's see here. Oh, we gotta we gotta reassign villager of the week too, because the votes are in on that. I think about 172 votes last time I checked, and it was a very clear winner. So, we'll be moving those balloons today. Uh, Pajmina got an extra week because I, I just didn't get the vote up last week. <laughs> okay, now we can pick up our stuff. What did we get today from Rocket? An apple dress. Okay. I guess we didn't have that yet. I think we look pretty cute in our little overalls though. I like these with our purple tennis shoes. Oh no, <laughs> that one's a hermit crab too. 11, okay. Seven, so you're four hours. It's hard to keep track of the time zones. It's 7, 7, 12 in the morning here. Um, okay, we gotta go a little further up. 12, 12 in the UK. Nice. So you guys are 
around lunchtime then? Or do you eat lunch at 12? <laughs> I guess, I guess not everybody eats lunch at 12 anyway. I don't usually eat lunch at 12. Somebody has to be watching a clock for that to happen. <laughs> usually just working on stuff and re realize that I'm hungry. Could be 11.30 in the morning, could be 2.30 in the afternoon. No consistency. Mary, what are you doing over here? I'm all about having fun, but I also love sitting. So I guess this is a sit party. All right, will you enjoy that? Oh, Diana, hello, welcome in, good morning. <laughs> Let's see here. I, okay, I tried to pick this stick up yesterday, but oh wait, it's gonna let me get there today. Nice, <laughs> okay. I tried forever to get in there yesterday and it wouldn't let me do it. another stick over here. Just trying to do a little morning cleanup, get our dailies, our seashells picked up. So this is this is the last acre that we worked on. We made this little snack shop for Punchy and as soon as we get some fishing tourney items he's gonna have a little bit of a fishing tackle that kind of stuff shop too. And this is his little grill where he does his Friday fish fries. So we gotta find him a table. Um, but, ooh, can I get this balloon in time? Eh. It could be a recipe. <laughs> we need those cherry blossom recipes. Geraldine, welcome in. Good morning. Oh, we got a lot of bells. Okay. Um, let's see here. We can put this one away. Get 99. Put this one away. <laughs> okay. What's in this balloon? I hope it's a cherry blossom recipe. Nope, it's an apron. Alright, well, I was gonna try how much we should be able to pick up the rest of the seashells, I think. So we're gonna go down here. So this is our next acre we're gonna be working on. We got this, well, hello. <laughs> We've got this big raised up area. And we don't have to put any buildings here. All we have to put in is a bridge and some in-game pathing, which is kind of already here, uh, continuing from Punchies. And we had already talked about putting a an incline in over here. So we just got to figure out what we want to put in this acre because we can kind of do whatever we want. Oh, the cherry blossom lantern is a good one. I would... Let me look because I think the, I, literally the only cherry blossom recipe I have is this one. <laughs> the Sakura flooring and oh no nope, I have the uh, I have the umbrella and the one that uh, Isabel gave us the picnic set so that is all I have which is pretty sad for being nine days into cherry blossom season I just haven't been in the game all right let's get our seashells even though we can't sell them yet I should have thought about that I should have waited and collected them later that's okay. Cap'n? Probably a lot of our villagers are still asleep too. Oh, and Sahara's here. Have to buy some rugs today. Ooh, there's another money tree, but we don't have room for anything right now. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna go drop these seashells over at Nook's. Alexis, welcome in. Hello, good morning. Or morning here anyway. I guess, I don't know. Should I say good morning? <laughs> you guys, so many different times of day. Good morning from where I am. Um, wait, do we need to sell some more of this? What is this? Oh, that tree branch wreath is for Punchy, but I don't know if we can give him stuff yet. We don't want this apron. Okay. So let's grab our art here. And actually, we're gonna go ahead and donate this guy too. 
As soon as I do, I'm going to think of somewhere he needs to be. <laughs> it seems to be, yeah, less addicted to Animal Crossing. I can see that being good for your homework, yes. Okay, Blathers, we got a whole bunch of stuff for you, bud. You're going to have to wake up. I know you just went to sleep. <laughs> Probably about an hour ago. Let's see. We'll do fossils first. And I think we did donate another fossil yesterday. It was the dinosaur track, I want to say. I thought we only needed two left, but apparently we were still missing at least three. I think we still need, like, the Dimetrodon skull. And I don't remember what the other one is. All right, let's donate some things. Did I play New Leaf? Yes, I did. Play New Leaf yesterday up until it wasn't possible <laughs> anymore. Or, well, okay, sorry. New Leaf, you can still play it. <laughs> you just can't play it online anymore. I'm getting myself confused over here. Okay, so we have, what, three paintings? Oh no, two paintings, a statue, and a butterfly. Um, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Thank you. Let's go see. What it looks like in here. I keep forgetting I can talk during the transitions when I'm streaming, you guys. <laughs> always, always cut that out when I make videos, so I try not to talk, but we're doing pretty good, actually. We've got three, four, five things, six things over here. And the big one there. Oh, so, well, maybe we don't have very much. That's the only statue we have. I guess we kind of just unlocked red not that long ago. And technically we have another statue. We're just using it as decoration on the island. Well, since none of our shops here are open, I think we'll go... You know what? Since we have 99,000 bells in our pocket, why don't we go and unlock something else on Harv's Island? I don't know which one. We, we have Cyrus and Leaf and Red so far. So who should we unlock next? Let's see. Uh, we'll fly. Visit Harv's. All right, here we go. So we could unlock Kicks, we could unlock Sahara, we could unlock Katrina, or old Tortimer back there. What did we come here for? <laughs> it's a new week, so he should have some new art. Let's see, that one is fake because it's got the coffee stain in the corner. And this one... Nope, this one's real. Wait, did we have that one already, though? I can't remember. No, I don't have Katrina yet. You think Katrina? Okay. We'll do Katrina. Let's see. Maybe the price, um... You guys, this is 
bad. I was just in the museum looking at the art. I can't remember if we had this one or not. It is real though, I'll just get it. Okay, let's go unlock Katrina. It should cost us a little less than 99,000. She's the one in front, right? Having a great morning, pals? We're accepting donations to fund a mysteriously accurate fortune teller. Okay, they've already got 17,000. We can do it. <laughs> yeah, it is hard to remember the art. I feel I feel like I should remember that when I was literally just in there. <laughs> okay. I know there was something in that section, but hopefully it wasn't that one. Okay, well I guess we'll see what Leaf has today too, because I really want some azalea bushes. And he has not had the azalea bushes yet. No, still no azalea bushes. Aren't they starting to bloom right now? Shouldn't he have those in stock? Leaf, what are you doing, man? Cosmos and lilies, not helpful. Where's my azaleas? Oh, Amanda Rose, that's a good idea. And I, I do actually have one of those apps, but it's got all the information for my forever island in it. So I don't, I don't use one for this island. Um, let's just go over and check the pokey shop and get our recipe from over there for today you got a you got a notebook yeah i have um i have like index cards that i write write it down on for city folk and stuff so i don't know why i haven't done that for for new horizons i think just because we have so few pieces of art in the museum so far because I think I just un unlocked red, like, maybe two weeks ago, maybe not even that long. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> Here's our recipe. Look at Pajmina back there. Oh, and Mary. Oh, it's kind of fun. Okay, because we've been doing all of our, or most of our, uh, builds for our actual <laughs> villagers, we get to see them over here. That's fun. Okay, let's see. What did we get here? A juicy Apple TV. Oh, we already know it. Okay. All right, let's see what they got today. They've got the covered counter again. I really want that, but we don't we don't have enough pokey. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back later. I said that last time too, and then I never did. I might actually have time today though. Let's get our little patchwork chair here. Because we don't have that yet. We don't have that one yet. Who's here today? Oh, Maddie's cute. Okay, let's get back. <laughs> let's get back. Yeah, the patchwork chair is super cute. Yeah, I haven't unlocked the ABD yet either. I just, I we've only done, let's see, out of the villagers, I think we just hit, what was it? 10 homes? Was it 10, 12? I don't remember. We haven't done very many. Uh, yeah, we want to go back to Larkshire. We've been doing them for the Villager of the Week, and I think aside from the Villager of the Week, we did Eloise, because you have to do her to start it. I think I've done Mo and one other person, and I can't even remember who it was. I want to say it was a squirrel. But that is pretty much all I've done. We need to get over there and do some more. And unlock... I, I really want to unlock it so we can start uh, redoing the houses on the island here because some of them, like Goose's house, is just 
Because apparently you can't even report their house to Isabel to reset it until you do 30 homes on uh, Happy Home or Paradise Planning, whatever it's called. <laughs> you have to do 30, 30 before you can report their house and get it reset. To. Or at least that's what I read. Okay, so we have a bunch of fossils to sell. We're gonna drop those over by nooks too. Just finished your 30th, okay. <laughs> Good job, I mean, it takes time. I mean, I could just go in and, you know, place the stuff and, and say they're done and go back and do them later, but I don't know. I, I never, I'm never really able to do that. I get in there and I'm like, well, while I'm here, I'll just <laughs> do a little bit and then I just do the whole thing anyway, so. Might as well just go do it. <laughs> yeah, the patchwork stuff is pretty cool. Ooh, cherry blossom. I probably killed it by running by. All right, what was I just thinking we needed to do? Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to go to Pajmina's house and take her balloons away. <laughs> she's, she's not the villager of the week anymore. Whoops. Can I not climb this vine? There is a vine here, right? Okay, put down the net. <laughs> there we go. And take these balloons. Oh, and she's home too. Let's just say hi to her. You're up to 18, Stacy. Really nice. Oh, she's crafting. Are you making a cherry blossom recipe? Did the villagers make cherry blossom recipes? Oh, hyacinth lamp. Nice. Oh, but we already knew that one. Okay. <laughs> so you get so excited and then already have that one. All right, well, do we have giant clams on us? Yes, we do. Let's give her a giant clam today. I know, her house is sad. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> we need to, we need to help them. We, I, I need to go do that so we can start um, redoing their houses when we do Villager of the Week. The hyacinth lamp was one of the suggestions um, to replace those balloon lamps in the resting place so we might have to make a couple of those and try it out uh, we also need to try street lamps reb i think you um suggested some street lamps maybe i don't know those those pink glowing moss balloons just weren't doing it so we have a few options to try Oh, there's some cherry blossom. <laughs> I'm never gonna get enough cherry blossoms. I just keep running past them and making them disappear. All right, Mary, you're up. Uh, here's a gift. Have a giant clam, please. That was the first recipe you got, Amanda Rose, on, on your last island? That's really good. That's a great first recipe. Oh, a fairy tale dress. Thank you. Yes, lamp experimentation. We might have to do uh, a nighttime episode so we can see it with all the lamps on. Um, what? We got another recipe we have to drop down here. I really, I really don't know why I'm saving all these. Yeah, that looks so cute on her. I love seeing the villagers running around in in the uh, the outfits that they've won in the in the votes. <laughs> Goose doesn't have his on today though. Yeah, that's his regular outfit. I read that sitting like this is the best way to work your core muscles. Hello, Princess of Pineapples. Good morning. Welcome. All right, Goose is not getting up for us. We just got Nook Miles for something though. Was it for talking to three villagers today? 
But yeah, I was in here yesterday and Lucky had on his little bowling shirt. It's so cute. And I always see like Kiki running around in her little heart sweater. Uh, Pashmina was actually wearing her, her little shamrock outfit yesterday, which was funny. <laughs> I'll tell you what's not funny though, and I, I totally did this to myself because I didn't think it through. Um, and I thought it was so funny to give Lucky the catchphrase, bruh. <laughs> so he's walking around like, how you doing, bruh? Um, yeah, so there's at least two other villagers saying it now, and one of them is Mary. And I was like, Mary, don't do that to me. I am not your bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot that they share that. Whoops, I do that every time. We're just gonna hold this balloon for a second. <laughs> no, we need to put this down because Punchy is our new villager of the week. <laughs> Are you just waking up, princess? <laughs> it is pretty early over here. Yep. I've got my coffee right here. So yeah, innocent little Mary calling us bruh now. I know, not Mary <laughs> of all people. It's like, you realize the error of your ways very quickly. <laughs> oh, what is it? Speaking of Mary, I have something I totes total, totally need to tell you. Lean in close. Wait, um, what was it? Can you guess? Do you like the reaction for curiosity? Okay, <laughs> because I'm doing it right now. So like, if you want to learn about a new thing, I just ask about it and wait to hear the deets. Curiosity allows you to learn about the world around you. And doesn't that sound tray fab? Yes, it does. Wait, did she say it when we talked to her earlier? Let's just talk to her again. What is it, bruh? See? Mary, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> oh boy. Well, we'll be waiting for her to ask for a new catchphrase. <laughs> I've decided that on days when the weather's nice, I'm gonna do my dance practice outside. All right, cool. Everyone will see me and shouldn't all pop stars be seen by everyone? One, two, three, four. Dancing is the best. All right. All right, bruh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's just too funny. All right, Goose is up. We can give him a clam now. Mary for Villager of the Week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll have to put her up for that. A giant clam. Okay, a dress shirt. Well, we'll sell it. I didn't even pay attention to what anybody else gave us. What, what do we have here? Square glasses. Oh yeah, the fairy tale dress. I probably won't keep that. It's green. Okay, wait, what else did I have in my pocket right here? Oh yeah, the small cafe table. So that was in Red's boat yesterday and we were kind of looking for another one. It's not, I don't think it's the tables that we're gonna keep over here. Oh, and it's a different color. Oh well, because we're not going to keep it over here, I'm just going to leave it that color <laughs> and we're just going to put this other smoothie on it to get it up off the ground. Oh, Amanda Rose, take care. Okay. What else do we have to do today? <laughs> we got our villager of the week. Balloons changed, but Punchy wasn't up yet, I don't think. And Lucky's not up yet, I don't think. Let's go see if Kiki's awake. Were her lights on? Wait, I always forget Hans here. We, we've got this shop around his house and I always like kind of miss his house in there, but he is home and he's awake. So let's go check on Hans. Looking smooth as always. <laughs> Welcome back, my BFF. Always a pleasure to have you stop by the Chalet de Hans. 
What's going on, man? Just look at the talent we've assembled here. Hans and Carolee in one room. I wonder who will play us in the inevitable film adaptation. Alright. Oh, now Hans is saying it too. I don't blame you, bruh. <laughs> oh no. Everybody's gonna be saying it. It just hits different coming from Mary, though. All right. What are you gonna give us? <gasps> hey, check it out. Hans's photo. <laughs> That's our first photo. Yay. Thanks, Hans. Our very first photo. Where can we put it? Let's see. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it back here. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Well, out of all the people, I would have guessed we'd get their photo first. It probably wouldn't have been Hans, but there it is. Look at him with the starry background. Oh, we gotta zoom in on this here. Check that out. Looking smooth. <laughs> Too funny. Okay. Well, cool. We got a photo. Our first photo. That's super exciting. Now we can go see if Kiki's away. Oh, we gotta buy rugs too. Let's grab our bells here. We've been trying to put some bells in the bank so we can get saved up for our next home loan. I think 1.248 million. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna buy some rugs. Yeah, he does look pretty dapper. Uh, we're gonna go with a large rug. Wait a minute. So that's not his default outfit, though. He's wearing like a ski jacket, right? So I wonder why he's in a different outfit in the photos. Are they all like that? Because, yeah, that blue argyle. He was rocking that. He should have been in that outfit. Well, he looks pretty good in that um, blue coat again that we gave him, too, that he won in the... Who Wore It Best. Which, there will be a new Who Wore It Best out a little later today. I didn't quite get it ready for this morning. I'm behind on everything, you guys. Just hopefully be catching up this week. Now that all the New Leaf last minute stuff is over, we can get back to somewhat of a normal <laughs> schedule situation. Alright, we get a mysterious wall. We'll take the wallpaper. Yeah, the puffy, it's like red and yellow puffy jacket. Not a fan. I was happy to give him the coat again, but he doesn't really wear the coat again all that much. Which is sad, because it looks really good on him. All right, one more rug. We'll go see what they are after we check on Kiki. All right, not interested. But we are going to have to decorate our house at some point, so we do need rugs. And it's still kind of fun to get, get them mystery style <laughs> before we get her on Harv's Island. Caroline, wait, is Caroline still asleep or is she out somewhere? I'm not at home right now, so she is out somewhere. We'll be looking out for her. I think she was our most... Wait, did she win the tie-dye? Yeah, she did, because we had to go find her in the museum to give it to her. So she was our most recent who wore it best winner. Kiki! <laughs> and there she's in her little sailor shirt. Glad you stopped by, kitty cat. I like entertaining at home, but sometimes I worry that I might be boring my guests. I hope you feel comfortable enough to tell me if you're not having fun. Well, we just got here, Kiki. We haven't even had time to not have fun yet. 
<laughs> We're gonna chat with her one more time. I'm sorry, I just have to ask you if it's true. Uh-oh. Were you really a huge superstar with a string of rock hits? Um, I don't know where you're getting your info. <laughs> Did you come here to escape at all? No, wait, you don't have to blow your cover. It's honestly none of my business. I'm sorry for asking. Wow, Kiki, you're having a rough morning, friend. <laughs> How can I help you? Here, why don't you take this giant clam? Yes, yes we are. Hopefully your day gets a little better. A rose wall. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, well, while we're here, let's see. Let's go up here. Um, actually, before while we're here, we're gonna go grab a bridge from Tom Nook. So we gotta put a bridge in acre six. We are gonna have to do one tile of terraforming to fit it in there. Oop. Okay, mm, don't know what happened there. A little bit of choppy. But we have to decide, like, mm, do we want to put another stone bridge since the other bridge is a stone bridge? Or do we want to try something different? Because I don't really know what else is going in that acre yet. I have one idea. And my idea is to put, like, a stargazing area up on that hill where our house used to be. And make that into, like, a stargazing place. I kind of like to have a stargazing area on my islands. I don't know, it's just fun. And I miss that in the museums from the old games. Why did I go to the ABD? <laughs> we need to talk to Tom Nook. Hello, hello. We need a bridge, Tom Nook. Oh, whoops, I almost said nothing. Let's build a bridge. Okay. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like we should go with the stone one again. Because, um, I don't know, just like, it's the color of it. I think some of the other ones are too... Too. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. It's fun because like a lot of times Celeste will show up on the higher hills. So hopefully we're going to go with the stone bridge. We can always change it later if we want. But I think it'd be fun to have that up there. And kind of what I was thinking is to put some trees like along the front of the cliff so that the stargazing area is kind of behind it and has a good view of the sky. I don't know how many items we actually have <laughs> for a stargazing area yet. I don't even think we have a telescope. So we're gonna look in the nook shopping right now and see if there's one in there. Nope, <laughs> no telescope. Okay, anything good over here? I've already ordered like four of these four Scythias, but every time I go in here, I'm like, Maybe we should just get one more. <laughs> and then I end up with a bunch of Forsythias that I never use, but that's okay. We'll get one more. All right, let's go check out the spot for the bridge and see what we can do. We're gonna have to go into construction mode. Oof, one of these days we need to make a flag too because this green leaf is killing me. <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that's terrible. I just haven't taken the time yet. I have I have a couple of like inspiration pictures. I'm gonna try to make a, a bird, a lark, something that looks sort of like a lark. Could be a lark. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. So we gotta work on that one day. It's like there's always 10 other things to do first. Okay, so yeah, this bridge still needs a lot of work too, but we're gonna worry about that not today either. <laughs> I 
let's see. Okay, so here's our spot. So yeah, up here I'm thinking we just put the cedar trees kind of all along the front here and just have our little step up because it's it's not totally symmetrical but it's fairly symmetrical ish um, and then and then we'd have all this space back here to set up like telescopes and some little I, I'm thinking maybe the little kids tents maybe one or two of them if I can get my hands on one and I don't know whatever else we decide what am I doing <laughs> we need to get to the other side of the river because the tile that needs to change is this one right here so the bridge can go diagonal which I'm kind of leaning towards putting it diagonal or it can go straight but either way this tile is gonna have to change so let's get in construction mode You think that would look good? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's it's like, I've been thinking about it <laughs> since we looked up what we can put there the other day. And that's like about the only idea I've come up with. But it, yeah, it's always fun to have a spot like that. Just hang out and look at the stars. Okay, we need our waterscaping. In. Okay, so let me think here. <laughs> do we need, wait, do we need another square here then? That works. That should work, right? Oh, are we gonna have to move some of this stuff on the other side? I, don't know, I better move that shed. Get this weed out of the way. I don't want it taking out any furniture. I know it just puts it in the recycle bin, but then I have to go all the way to the recycle bin and get it. <laughs> okay, we'll see how this looks. It fits! Yeah, that's super cute. I like it. Right ne right there next to the backwards waterfall. What do we think? Good spot? It'll lead across because there's going to be a, an incline to the left there. Okay, we'll go with it. Yay! Cool. Thank you very much. And there's Punchy's little tiny fishing corner there. There's a one tiny corner of Acre 5 on this side. So Acre 6 then goes all the way up to this cliff. So everything in front of the backwards waterfall, everything else in this corner is all acre six. So in addition to our star viewing area up here, we actually have all of this down here, the peninsula and the rock back here and everything, which actually means Kiki's house is gonna have to move too because villager house is not in the list for acre six. So <laughs> what should we do with our peninsula and all this back here? We're going to have to decide that and we're going to have to move Kiki somewhere. Oh dear. Okay, so we got the bridge placed. Let's go. Um, did I pick up the... I have the storage shed in my pocket, I think. I don't, um, have I seen a backwards waterfall before? Not, I don't think I've ever seen one just like naturally on an island from the beginning. Ooh, a spa. That's a good idea.
All right, let's see. Let's put down our storage shed. See if we have anything. We'll have to move some trees first. Where did it, where did it go? Oh, which rugs did we get? We never did even look, did we? We got the Ocean Horizon Wall, fancy. The Fossil Rug, fun. <laughs> Blue Argyle, cool, cool. Um, somebody gave us the Rose Wall. And the Brown Kitchen Mat, not very exciting. Okay, let's get rid of those out of our pocket. Put this away. I'm not going to keep that. We'll put all of these. And the patchwork chair. Tree branch. Okay, there we go. I like the uh, purple hyacinth up here too. Maybe we'll keep those up here. And we could move like some of the blue pansies or something. I like having like blue and purpley flowers in a stargazing area outdoor fishing area. That's a good idea too. We do have Punchy's um, fishing situation in Acre 5 though, so we might just leave that for Punchy. Um, okay, what am I doing here? <laughs> what am I doing? We were supposed to be seeing if we have anything for an area, and we need to move some trees, which means we'll need to get some cherries to eat. Okay. So what kind of seating should we have up here? Should we have like these footrest type little seats for the viewing area? See, I don't think we have a telescope yet. I don't see one. Oh, we could use the little cushions too. We have lots of those. We don't want to put too many lights in because if you if you've ever gone stargazing in real life, you know you don't want too many lights around because it it messes it messes up your ability to see the stars. Okay, let's go get some fruit so we can move some trees. We talked to Kiki, right? Yes, we did. Who have we not talked to? Caroline's out somewhere. We haven't seen her yet. Haven't bumped into her. All right, here's some cherries. Oh, and there's a bunch of blue pansies up there too. Where'd that other cherry go? There it is. Okay, I thought I saw it down there. The log furniture set, yeah. Oh, Maury, hello, welcome. Hello. Um, oh, I gotta do a couple more of these. Shout outs. I'm sorry, I missed some. There we go. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're about to move some trees. Super exciting stuff this morning. Just grabbing some cherries so we have something to eat. We should, um, I haven't unlocked the cooking yet. Maybe we should unlock cooking today too. Cause we do have all the crops now and we can make food. Um, let's see here. Get up the hill. <laughs> oh no, I just took out some flowers. Okay, so we are going to have to move some weeds and flowers and stuff to get these trees moved. <laughs> You're welcome, Princess of Pineapples. I know, I try to keep them short so I can remember them. Um, why do I have glowing moss up here? <laughs> this is such a random assortment of things. Okay, so let's decide where we want our trees to be. I think probably we'll just move this one like one space back. Since it can fit right in that corner there. Oh no, low battery. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Where did I put that tree? All right, guys, give me one second. I'm going to switch my Joy-Cons here. Sorry for any bumps. Funny noises. All 
I don't want that to keep popping up every two minutes or whatever it is. So we switch to the purple and orange. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So should we put these pretty close together then, you guys think? Like just one space apart? Kind of really give it a, a wall. Let's see, if we put one here, oh no, I'm gonna dig in all the wrong places. <laughs> Weird you out that we can move full size trees. It is kind of strange, I guess, when you think about it. Like just with a shovel, like yeah, I just put that tree in my pocket, no big deal. <laughs> okay, and maybe one right there on this side. I think that's as close as we can get them to the edge. And then we can put one, let's see, I kind of want them right on the other sides of this, but it would have to go right, not right there. I'm just really good at digging in the wrong spot <laughs> multiple times. Okay, there we go. One here and one here, I think. And then here, nope, it's not going to let me put one there, is it? All right, come on, OBS. <laughs> Don't do that to me. It is magic. <laughs> Tree moving magic. Okay, so I, I don't think it's gonna let me put one right here, but why don't we try it just for funsies? Nope, <laughs> okay. I was gonna have to go a little further back. I don't know where this other cedar tree came from. And we're gonna have to get rid of all these pansies in our pocket. <laughs> it's too many. Okay, let's see. There we go. <laughs> I was digging the right spot. So we'll move this one back. And we're gonna have to go steal a few from another place, I think. I can't believe I haven't got a telescope yet. Isn't that like one of the first items you get in the game usually? Like, everybody has a telescope. Well, if I got one, I must have sold it or something. And I think we'll go ahead and put one, like, on the edge there, too. Kind of close it in. Hmm. I don't know. Do you guys think we should put one right here, too, and then just have the, the ladders up between the trees somewhere? Like, maybe over here, since there's kind of a gap? Should we block off the whole thing or should we leave this space open? How many more trees do we need? Um, if any of, yeah, if anybody wasn't in here yet when we talk about what we're actually doing, we're, we're building a stargazing area. So we're trying to, we're trying to like kind of give it a wall, <laughs> I guess. So we can put put the stargazing behind it so you can look up at the sky. You think leave it open? Okay. Don't don't put a tree there. Don't do it. <laughs> Maybe we can put um, like some some of the little lanterns or some some kind of soft glow light up here. So you can see to get up here and then behind the trees will be no light. We need this cherry blossom. Come here, you little thing. Gotcha. We need the recipes though. Where are the recipes? <laughs> are they all in balloons? Because I have not been seeing any balloons. All right, how many trees do we need? One, two, three, four. Let's see, do we need one on this end too? I think this one's probably enough. So let's go find four more cedar trees to steal. I'm not gonna take them from right here. We'll grab them from this front area. Oh, I'm not going to have room in my pockets for four unless I get rid of these pansies. I really don't want to dig them up again, so we're going to run them over to the drop box. Wait, is it past eight? Ooh, it's past eight. We can just sell them then. Because we have plenty of pansies. We can sell all this other stuff too. Except I'm not going to be able to pick it up because our pockets are full of pansies. Mary. How, mu how much space do we have? Two spaces. Oh, what's up, Goose? Oh! Oh, no! 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I should never try to talk to the villagers with a net in my hand. I do that like every time. Poor goose. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And he just pulled out the broom and started sweeping like, okay, if that's how it's gonna be. Oh my goodness. I can't be trusted. Oh, Carly. Welcome, good morning. Member for one month. Awesome. <laughs> I know, just like, <laughs> just start sweeping. So awkward. <laughs> just smacked him. Poor goose. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to get rid of these things too. Uh, if it's eight o'clock, are our lazy villagers going to start waking up? I just, I, yeah. Now we'll never know what he was going to try to tell us either. <laughs> um, do, do we need anything out of the cabinet? Why do I feel like we did? I think we're good. Just needed space in our pockets. So what's everybody got going on for today? I know some of you are already part way through your day. After this, I'll be making more videos. <laughs> Let's see. All right. We needed four more trees, right? Is that what we said? So we got to eat four cherries. Hello. I don't know what time the uh, lazy villagers start waking up. But if we see Punchy, we have a wreath to give him for his door. Getting ready to head to work. Okay, Princess of Pineapples is streaming in an hour. Stacy, that's a good idea. Resting, <laughs> resting is a good idea. Ah, spring cleaning, also a good idea. I need to do some of that too. got a mess around me. It's a good thing you guys can't see it. <laughs> it's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, one, two, and we'll probably put like some bushes in between maybe. There's not going to be any reason to need to get up in between the trees on the sides, probably. So we can fill it in as much as we want, I think. Yeah, quiet days are good once in a while, especially after a hectic one. Okay, let's get the rest of these pansies out of the way. And what is this? Was this our money tree today? We're going to have to move that too. All the way up on the hill here. And this pansy can go. Hello. Okay, let's see here. I just want to check and see if our lazy villagers woke up. Punchy's light is on. Let's go check it out. Our new villager of the week. Uh, Punchy. Oh, this is the first time we've seen the inside of Punchy's house. Very blue. <laughs> I kind of like his floor, though. I don't think I've ever used this floor, but it, it looks pretty cool. All right, Punchy, hello. Hey, thanks for coming to visit me. Why don't you hang out for a while? We can hang out for a minute. This Saturday is the fishing tourney. That's real cool, right? I love fishing. That's good because you are our resident fishing teacher, we decided. <laughs> it's real relaxing. And when you're done, you got dinner. Okay, Punchy. 
we have something for you. So we can give him gifts now, which is awesome. Oh no! I went straight to the giant clams. I was supposed to give him that wreath. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, I'll have to try to remember to do it tomorrow. It's a raincoat. Thank you, Punchy. All right, well, if Punchy's awake, Lucky might be awake. And I wonder if our newest resident is awake. Are the Crankies late sleepers too? I don't know. Let's go find out. I don't even remember where I put his house. But we got static in here in the last episode. There's Francine's house. Her light is off. Is she asleep? She's, oh, I'm resting, dears. Okay, if Francine starts saying bruh, then I, I just, I, I won't know what to do. <laughs> Mary is bad enough. Okay, let's see. Uh, Lucky's this way. I think I put static somewhere over there on the right. Lucky is, oh, we gave him the tree, tree branch wreath too. That's funny. I know, where is Caroline? I bet she's in the museum again. <laughs> Just, there's always someone in the museum. Lucky, you weren't supposed to sit down, friend. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, just just rub it in, Lucky. What's up, Wonderbud? Great weather today. Let's talk. I'm glad you're here. Something's really been bugging me. Uh-oh. How come a cactus has needles? Does it not want friends? Does it hate balloons? I don't know, Lucky. Or maybe cactuses are just misunderstood. Maybe I'll talk to a cactus about being friends. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a great idea, Lucky. All right, well, he's going to be sitting down reading his comic book for a while, so I guess we'll come back with his clam later. <laughs> oh, Andy, good morning. Welcome. Welcome in. We're looking for villagers. <laughs> Our villagers. Caroline's out somewhere. We just can't find her. We're about to go see if Static is awake. Our new little cranky. Cranky pants. Let's see. Um, I did see him out walking around yesterday. I hope he, I kind of hope he's home. Oh, his light's still on. I'm sound asleep. Do not wake me up. All right, fine. <laughs> what time do they wake up? Come out. Okay, well, we got to talk to our lazies anyway. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's just take a quick run through the fossil section and see if Caroline's in there again. Because that would, that would be funny. Maybe she's still in there from the day that we gave her <laughs> the... the um, uh, Pandorica, actually no one left. Uh, we hadn't placed our 10th plot yet. So, uh, Static showed up in our campsite. And even though he was not the planned villager to fill the, any of the plots, <laughs> he, um, he was purple and he was really cute. And we didn't have a cranky yet. So we, I decided to invite him to fill the 10th plot. So we now have 10 villagers on the island, which is really cool. And no grizzly and no midge. Oh, your cranky is like the first one up? Yeah, it seems to me like a little cranky old man would be the first one up. <laughs> Although I told Static that he was too cute to be cranky. He's like the cutest. She's not up there, is she? We went through the art section earlier and didn't see her. Yeah, I have never had static before on any island that I've done, so it's fun to get a new villager. <laughs> he is too, too cute. Oh, it's, I just noticed it's raining outside here. 
It's, it's just like quiet rain. All right, where is Caroline? She's probably just walking the beach or something. Just like, what are you doing in the museum? Sid. Hmm. I'm not sure who's Sid. I'm not picturing that one. Sid. Zero idea. Who is Sid? <laughs> I am totally blanking on that name. It's not a squirrel, right? Am I still gonna get everyone's photo? Yes, in fact, Andy, we got our first photo today. It was super exciting. <laughs> Let me go show you. Cranky red elephant, oh, okay. I still just like, Huh, I'm gonna have to look him up. Cause that's not, that's not sounding familiar at all. Okay, we're gonna run through the bug section just really quick. Make sure Caroline's not in there. And then um, I'll show you our photo, our first photo. It was so exciting. <laughs> well, um, we were just handing out our clams. But where is Caroline? <laughs> there's all, there's like, always someone missing every time all right I don't think she's in here this time so where in the world is she don't know okay well you got to see how bare our museum is anyway <laughs> we don't have haven't spent too much time getting stuff in here yet we do have a bagworm She's hiding. <laughs> She's hiding. Yeah. She's going to be like the squirrels are the hiding champs in the city folk town. Like every time I play hide and seek with Peanut, I can never find her. Oh, in the cafe. I didn't think of that. All right. We'll go look at our photo and then we'll check the cafe. Isn't the photo like right here? Ah, I can't get through. I can't get through. <laughs> there it is. Ta-da. <laughs> Hans gave us his photo. His smooth looking stars in the background photo. <laughs> Too funny. We just put it over here for now until we find a good spot for it. All right, let's go check the cafe. She could, well, we've been inside Nooks. Did anybody notice her in Nooks? Was there somebody in Nooks? I'm usually so oblivious. Like, I couldn't even remember what art. Oh, Mary's in here. Didn't, didn't we just see her outside? Want to know when I realized I was a legit adult? It was the first time I drank black coffee, and I liked it. Okay, well, good for you. Oh, what? We get a thing. You got a minute? I've got something for you. Think of it as my way of saying thanks. It's the recipe for the roost cookie. Yay! I'll put it in your pockets for you. Thanks! Cool. Alright, now we really do have to go unlock the food thing. Alright, well, that didn't help us find Caroline. We'll go check Nooks again just in case, but she's gotta be somewhere, right? She's usually not too far from her house, but we ran that whole beach over there. Hello, Nene's Nook, welcome. Am I saying that right? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, no black coffee for me. Thank you, I like, I like the cream and the sugar. <laughs> Hazelnut flavor. That's what I'm drinking right now. Hazelnut coffee. Probably sweeter than it should be. All right, Caroline <laughs> has left the building or the island. All right, she's not back here. See, normally I wouldn't worry this much about it, but I kind of 
She's made it a thing. <laughs> we need to find her. Do they just disappear? I feel like we've had situations where we've had to actually just restart the island to find someone. All right, I'm gonna run up. I'm just gonna run up her beach. And then we'll just give up because... We can't look forever, Caroline. <laughs> She's definitely not home. She in amongst the trees over here or something? Have we talked to Pajmina? We haven't talked to Pajmina either, have we? Did we? Oh, one thing I always forget is that they can be in each other's house. Oh wait, look, 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 look. There she is, there she is. <laughs> She's on the hill. Caroline. In her tie-dye, <laughs> nice. I wonder what my parents are up to. I should probably give them a call. All right, as long as you're not saying bruh. All right, you need to know, oh, how good you look in your denim overalls. I think that color you're wearing would go really well with a mesh cap. I wanna see if my hunch is right. So here's a gift for you. Look how happy she looks. I love when they, <laughs> when they look so happy. Sneaky squirrel. She's so small and she like blends in with the flowers. <laughs> oh, all right. Caroline, we have a clam for you. She is very bright, yes. <laughs> she has very bright colors, matching that tie-dye to a T. Okay, what are you gonna give us? A bath towel wrap, wow, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, whew, I'm glad we found her. Oh, we did talk to, um, we did talk to Pajmina because she was crafting and also we commented on how sad her house is. <laughs> so we need to, really need to work on being able to change those. Okay, so is Static the only one we haven't talked to then? We just gotta wait for him to wake up. All right, what else do we need up here? We're gonna need some bushes. Let's see if we have any on hand. And actually, we're probably... Ooh, we could do hedges, too. That could be cool. We're probably not going to stream for too much longer here. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for bush starts. Pink hydrangeas, blue hydrangeas. Let's grab some of those. More blue hydrangeas. Yeah, we have lots of those. Let's grab those. Um, why do I give clams and not fossils? I no particular reason. I just like collect seashells every day, which maybe not everyone does. So I always have the clams and it's one of the things that you can give as a gift that they won't put in their house, but it's worth the right amount to get a gift back. It's just, I don't know, just one of those things. <laughs> just do clams. All right, let's plant some bushes. Between the trees. Plus the fossils usually sell for a lot more. So I think I was just selling the fossils. And, oh, wait a minute. Do we want a bush right there? I think we might actually move that over to the edge. I'm gonna pick up this vine, put that right on the edge. Oh, right after I dig in the wrong place again. <laughs> um, so where's that one? There we go. And fill in here, put one, I guess we'll go right in front of this, or right in front of it, right next to this tree. You have adopted the clam method. It does work good for photos. I mean, in my experience anyway. I've had, I've, I've heard other people say that too. So yeah, gotta get the photos. <laughs> if 
Okay, let's see. Where do we want the bushes here? Do we want to put them right in front of the trees to keep this part nice and open? Or do we want to put them like right kind of maybe not there, maybe there? Okay. To the right of the tree or in front of the tree? And then same thing on the other side. <laughs> That's the question. All right. I, I have a special talent, you guys. It's called digging in the wrong place. Yes, I did get the Gulliver treasure chest. It is a cool item. I haven't uh, decided what we're going to do with it yet. Hopefully it'll fit in somewhere on the island. That's one of the only cool things he's given us so far. I really want Stonehenge. So I've been trying to talk. I've been trying to talk to him <laughs> like every time he comes. Like, give me Stonehenge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't aim this shovel. Right there. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna put one not right there. <laughs> right there. Okay, we got it. Okay, so you think keep keep this open? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Maybe we can find some kind of cool starry path to put up here. I think I've seen some nice ones. So we'll, oh, I could have left that hole there. Hello. Um, actually, you know what? <laughs> Before I do that, let's just get this other yellow pansy out of here too. You got Stonehenge? Nice. He'll give it to us one of these days. Oh, and welcome in, Neo Blitz. <laughs> I think I think you just got here, maybe. Oh my gosh, Andy! I just saw I just saw your comment about Hans. <laughs> that was glamour shot, yes. Okay, all right. So that's gonna keep that open. And I don't think that we're gonna put like an incline over here or anything. I think we're probably just gonna keep the vine. Um, for a nice natural situation, but we've got a good little start there and the bushes can start growing um, For our little stargazing area and we'll have to keep an eye out for the telescope and Some other items that we can start using up here to decorate that Stonehenge is the best. Wait, you got it for your first Gulliver gift? That is so not fair. <laughs> so not fair. I always, I always have to like, I feel like he always gives all the weird little masks and braids and hair things and stuff first before I get anything cool. But we did get, oh well the treasure chest is from Gulliver though, right? The pirate version. Which, I wasn't even going to talk to him because I don't really care to have any of the pirate stuff on this island. But I just wasn't thinking <laughs> and I just talked to him anyway, so. Oh well, we did it. Now we have a treasure chest. Alright, I think we're done with that for now. We're probably going to move some of the blue pansies back there. And I'm going to look for a path for our stargazing area. But we've got a good start. And we've done our dailies. Let's just go check one more time, see if static has woken up yet. You ignore Gullivar. Yeah, same. Let's see. Neoblitz has an epic island. Oh, we're gonna have to check that out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. Um, hold on, let me check something. Okay. <laughs> Oops, I typed it in the wrong place. Okay. You guys hear my clicky clacky keyboard over here. All right. Yeah. Yeah, guys, make sure you check out Andy's channel, Simulation Fluffy. She's right at the end of a 30 day challenge. That has been epic, by the way. <laughs> All 
Okay, and not one single new cherry blossom recipe today, which I'm very disappointed about. We were going to check on static, weren't we? See, I'm already getting distracted. Nope, he's still asleep. No. Okay, well, our Cranky is a late sleeper. <laughs> So we won't get to see him today. I was really hoping I'd get to see the inside of his house today. But I think we're going to pretty much wrap it up here, guys. I think we made a, a good amount of early morning progress on our acre stakes. Got a lot of our dailies done. And it was lovely hanging out with all of you. Summercourt Island? Oh, well, I'll have to check that out. Yeah, that... <laughs> the story on, on her island is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Alright, thank... Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out this morning. I really appreciate you for being here. Hanging out with me. Getting some stuff done on the island. And we will be back on Larkshire on Saturday. And I think we're going to have a City Folk episode up tomorrow if anybody is interested in that. So thank you guys so, so much. Yeah, Neoblitz, I'll definitely look into it. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you guys so much. I'm going to I'm going to go to the Thank you and we will see you all soon. Have a beautiful day everyone.